you know, so many things to break down and take away from a learning curve and a great experience for your team. But you tell me in terms of how you feel now you actually have progressed. Good evening. <laughs> we knew before the match, uh, Lille was a very difficult match and uh, we prepared, we did our plan, the first leg at home, trying to get some advantage. We did, not enough. And today was difficult as well, um, but we prepared the, the plan. No win in some difficult moment. We we needed to be as well uh, focusing the game plan always and trying to to didn't get uh, frustration and tried always to be in the match and with the possibilities to to get in 90 minutes uh, the possibility to get extra time even and even penalty shoot. And I think we compete. We were mature. It's a very good experiences for us. The, the round we played against Lille and of course with the difficulties we had and I am very proud of uh, our work and uh, of course uh, I appreciate a lot uh, Lille's how they compete against us and at the end we are, we are in, this, in the next round and uh, it's uh, another experience I can have myself and with the players. Head coaches are always learning about their teams at every point within their tenure and during their career and everything else. What did you learn about your team today uh, just in terms of the resilience? Yes, yes, maybe it. Uh, be resilient and try to to keep uh, always uh, our structure on the game, even when we were losing, even when we were struggling. Like the first half, we struggled more than normal. But uh, with the advantage we had before with 2-1, we, we were always with the possibility of scoring one goal to, to get uh, our next run or to get the possibility to play extra time. And we did it. And we did it. And, and of course, we, we were playing mature. And I learned today the, the tennis is increasing uh, the level, playing uh, difficult matches like today, being mature and being as well responsible, more or less playing in our structure. Without stating the obvious, I could only imagine what it's actually like in there, but can you tell us in terms of what you said to the boys and how they're actually feeling inside of that changing room right now? Yes, the players, they are very happy. Some players, they are playing the first time in Europe and we are sharing between us, our experience as well here in the dressing room, the players with experiences in Europe, another without experience in Europe, myself as well, I am trying to to explain then some experience I had before and the difficulties I, I needed to 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 come back sometimes and uh, now we are we are uh, having here experiences between us and of course uh, we have to be proud of our work and of course the supporters after a long time uh, not getting the semi-final in Europe, they are, they are going to, to be as well proud of us and we are proud of them. Of course, we are very, very thankful of them when they are traveling with us here in Lille. They were 2,060, 100 more or less supporters from, from, from Birmingham and really, really we are very happy for them as well. They call you a specialist in Europe for a reason. Congratulations, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, can I just uh, yes. jump in? Congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. Congrats. Thank you. Um, just for UEFA, uh, uh, you know. I heard you saying there that you were a little bit disappointed with the with the first half. It was a little, not the best performance. Do you think maybe playing Arsenal on Sunday and then having this game Thursday when Lille didn't have a game, do you think that made a difference or not really? Good evening. Respectful of them. And of course, they played very well the first half and they took the advantage in the result as well and they were deserving it. But we knew we knew before could be this possibility during the game when they were playing here being successful. They are long time uh, being very successful here at home. And uh, we were playing two matches. The first leg at home, which the advantage we have, we had, and now as, as well trying to keep it. And then being always uh, with our mentality to, to try to be resilient and try to wait our moment. And we did it. And at the end as well, we accepted to play in shoot, penalty shoot. And, and in the penalty shoot, is more or less is a little bit lucky, a little bit uh, be as well uh, focused with uh, which player they were uh, really, really combined to, to shoot the, the penalty. And I think at the end, uh, we won. But of course, uh, we accepted it was very difficult. And as, as well, it's my congratulation for, for Lille because they played very well, they compete very well. First major European semi-final for Villa since 1982, when they were champions of Europe back in back in the day. So, you must be very proud of what you're achieving, what you continue to achieve in this club. Yes, uh, this is my objective when I arrive here. Uh, in that moment, I, I spoke about it, uh, trying to to increase 
Uh, our level as well uh, in Premier League, uh, getting better position in the table. We are progressively getting better, and of course in Europe try to be contender more or less to get something. Conference League, Europe League, and even uh, hopefully we can play in, in Champions League with Aston Villa. But uh, I think uh, we have to enjoy the moment we are having. We are being together and trying, of course, to 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 get experiences as well and try to to be demanding for to 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 try to get and to work hard to get more